morning everyone. Beautiful day here in Florida, not a cloud in the sky. Decided to take a ride. A little thermometer on the bike says it's 73 or 75, whatever. So beautiful. Cool, almost got her ended. Recording this probably about two days away from Thanksgiving. So hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. So I wanted to talk today a little bit about people using the term haters a lot. I think it's a very overused term used by people who want to well, people who can't formulate a coherent argument or counterpoint against something that you said. They're like, well, well, you know, I don't like this car. Well, you know, like, oh, you're a hater. You don't like this. If you don't like this mainstream or, or fringe thing. You, you must, you're a hater. Like, no, I'm entitled to my own opinion. But when I, I do get into some of these online arguments and whatnot with these people, you know, I don't, I don't like to back down. It's, a, it's my opinion. And if I see somebody who's, who's, in my experience, is doing something that's harmful to themselves or that especially that people like want to copy a lot you know I, yeah sure I don't like that that's not being a hater that's having an informed opinion about something and says hey you know you probably shouldn't do this you probably shouldn't copy this or you see somebody hurting themselves like you know, man, you should really not do that. You, know, you should probably think about what you're doing to yourself. It's like, oh, you're just being a hater. How simple-minded can one be to use that as your comeback, as your argument? Like, well, since, since I'm a car person, we'll we'll take this uh, we'll take this example of. Um, let's just say like, Diaz for Bill, for instance, okay? Alright, the, the guy, I think his name's Chris. And he seems like a really good guy. You know, I think his, his heart's in the right place. He really likes cars and stuff like that. And, and he, at least early on when I was subscribed to him, he would say, yeah, like, this probably isn't the best way to do this or whatever. And, but yet yeah, goes ahead and does it anyway. And, you know, that's something that's at least a little bit more acceptable when you have, like, a handful of subscribers. If you're just trying to get a little bit of traction within the community, whatever, that's fine. But once you start getting minions and droves of people who don't know any better, that's when it starts to get dangerous. If you don't change your ways and say, okay, well, I'm going to... You know, just hold off on the instant gratification for a little while and do this the correct way. Um, that's that's when it gets dangerous. So you know, I say if I say you know I I don't I don't like his channel, I don't like what he's doing. The droves of idiots come out of the woodwork and say, "Oh, you're just a hater." I'm like, well. Okay, well, where's your counterpoint? Where's, where is you saying, okay, well, um, where, where's your justification for saying, 
what he's doing is, is wonderful and safe and everything else. Like if you get people out there who don't know any better, I'm the Falcon. Uh, to start copying what other people are doing, making channels. And it's just like the stupidity just keeps exponentially rolling downhill. I do realize that everybody has to you know, kind of learn by doing. Everybody has a learning curve. But I just, I see so many of these car builds and stuff like that, like these you know, stupid death carts and stuff like that, which, oh gosh, which, uh, they're not well built and these people are risking their lives and the lives of others. Wow. Okay. Um, for a little bit of internet fame. You know, personally, me, I'd rather be known as somebody who does things the right way and shows people how to do things the right way rather than throwing things together in the most dangerous fashion possible for some quick link, you know, quick views and quick fame. And not too long ago, there was actually somebody that was in the news not too long ago that somebody built one of those stupid, I think it was like maybe a Honda or a Miata death cart and got all folded up inside of it because of the geometry on their roll cage and, and the bars that they were using were just absolutely substandard and dangerous. And you know it's one of those people that is directly influenced by a channel like the is for Build. Because they thought they could throw something together and not have any knowledge or do any research on how to actually do it. And then, you know, whoopsie, lo and behold, all, all of their welds failed, their cage was nothing but a rat trap for their head, and it ends up killing you. Yeah, I, I don't like that. And I've seen nobody who can justify that kind of behavior to me in a rational sense. And that's that's what I think is sad. Because every so if these guys will just jump on you and say, hey, you know, if you're like, hey man, you know that. You, you might want to do a little bit of research on roll cage triangulation and distribution of force because that doesn't look safe at all or in fact it isn't and then you get these droves of people with room temperature IQs on top of you saying oh you're a hater yeah I, I hate to see people get hurt and it, is that such a bad thing to hate. I don't know. I think it's just the society and the way everything's going. Everybody's so quick to just jump on whatever is popular and not even think about it. I just think that's not a positive thing. Everybody's day is going all right. Hope everybody's gearing up for the holidays just fine. Hopefully you're in a state that's not got a tyrannical governor or mayor. Let's everybody get together. See some family and whatnot. Thanks. 
Thanksgiving. Watching after the dogs. One of them is still not feeling well. Oh, Jesus, everywhere I go. It's all good. People are asking me, I think you're not uploading as much. Is your bike alright? Yeah, not, not if I'm alright. That'd be the bike, right? I've just been working a lot. Have a real life job. Oh. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh. So her plugs out. Alright, catch her. Smells like clean dog. Yeah, I'm not not too upset about that. It could be much worse. Well, this bike is always so happy when the controller is cool. 34 miles an hour. somewhat responsible, you know? As responsible as I can be on a 35 mile an hour bike meant to do 20 miles an hour. Oh, where do you live? I live in the giant white Minecraft box.
place. Somebody actually not trying to actively run me over and kill me. Oh. Okay, so are you in? Wherever you want to go. Oh. Gladly let you go there. Alright. Take my little break. And get back on this thing. I bake in Sultans? blankly at the back of a Corolla. Seeing that. Ooh. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share with your mom. If I get five likes, I might just take a shower today. Peace.